Hello, good day and welcome to Later Solution. Today we'll be learning how to create subtitle using any text editor. Today we'll be making use of Notepad. So to launch Notepad, we press Windows plus R and type Notepad and then press Enter. Now to create subtitle using Notepad, you have to launch the window side by side or the video side by side. So I'll go to a video on my computer and load it so let's say i want to load this video how to repair or fix broken or damaged or incomplete avr files i open the video now from now from my um, keyboard i'll place window and arrow right key in order to split the screen into the into two so you split the screen into two, you press the window and the right arrow key. Now I select Notepad to be on the left hand side. Now you can see that my VLC on the upper right corner has the hour, the minute, the seconds and the milliseconds indicator. So from here to create subtitle using Notepad, you need to name number each. So the first thing you need to write is the serial number, that is one. Then you need to write the timing. Let's assume that my subtitle, my subtitle, okay, it begins like from this time. So from there you can hear that my first word is started at about um, 15 seconds. So after writing the serial number, you write the start time. So the start time is zero zero column zero zero column zero zero then comma the millisecond before it is five is two ninety four then that you put this dash then a greater than sign and then you write the end time which is what zero zero column zero zero column one eight then comma five nine four you can hear what was said in the beginning say good day and welcome to latest solution so for the second sub one it starts at around this time two we now say the start time is zero zero column zero zero one eight dot five nine four then two dashes then the greater than sign then let's play to hear what say was said next so you can hear what he said here it said today will be so let me type in the end time comma then the seconds eight one six Sorry, here there is a mistake. It's supposed to be comma. So now, what was said was, today we will be learning how to repair or fix broken AVI files. So after writing the subtitle for all the video completely, you save the video as you go to the location where you want to save it. Let me save my in my um H drive. I will name it whatsoever I want to name it. I will say um how to repair. That will be the name. So here you now choose all file. The extension will be dot srt that the subrip file then you now change the encoding to utf-8 then you now save the video file you now save the subtitle file now for me to load this subtitle i will go to so um, i'll right click here and go to subtitle and I open the subtitle file i'll go to my hard drive you can see the subtitle how to repair so now if i play this video you can see it will show um the part that we just subtitled so let's 
scroll down to the location that is 15 seconds okay so you can see the subtitles was properly written and properly synced to the video based on the time we have given sorry yeah, i made a mistake it was supposed to be 15 that's why it didn't show in the um, video when we played it now there are other cool things you can still do with this if you want to create an italics text you can just put i and then write the text you want to create as italics then you end it it works with um, html tags you can also change the font color of your text just say font color you equate it to a color red or using the um, 00f and all those keys then you end it again with font so it uses html meta tags so thank you for watching this tutorial now for you to be able to allow your vlc to show you our uh, minutes seconds and milliseconds i've made a tutorial on that you can check my channel so thank you for watching this tutorial please subscribe to latest solution like and follow us thank you